Well, I think I've found my Doomer chick forever. I think uh, I need to go Amish. Oh God, I'm out here. So all of the men folk are away, and uh, <laughs> so we have all of the the Amish girls. Uh, we have the Amish girls out in the garden with their little uh, their little skirts and their little hats and shoveling manure and whatnot. Good God! So this woman, uh, you know, she's making my curtains. This is this woman out in the in the garden. This Amish chick. Uh, so she's. She's the one I hired to make my curtains, and so I brought uh, one back for some final little, uh, you know, final little bits and pieces, and I said, well, I'm going to go load the truck, so all of the men are off playing volleyball. I, I thought that the Amish guys never left their women uh, unguarded because of people like me driving up into their remote farms. So uh, I go there and I give this this chick these curtains. And uh, she goes, oh, this will take me 10 minutes to do this. And I said, well, I'm gonna go load, load the truck with some wood while you're doing this. And so she sends me out to the barn. So I go out there and I find this board that I want this, it's a, 10 foot long board, it's a two by 12 that I needed to cut in half to two two by sixes. So I was just gonna use their power saw. This is the sun setting through this, uh, this smoggy sky from the wildfires in Canada. Good God, look at this shit, guys. Uh, anyway, where was I? So I have to saw this 10 foot 2 by 12 into two 10 foot 2 by 6s. So I have to rip it down the middle. Well, they had a, uh, you know, they had a circular saw, these Amish people with all of their tools, with all of their power tools. So I, so I'm out there, you know, measuring, and, and I'm just, and I was just gonna rip it down with their circular saw. So I'm out there, you know, making my little line down the middle. And so she comes out there carrying my curtains and gives me, she, she asked me what I was doing. And I told her and she goes, well, let's just rip it. And I said, well, that's what I'm getting ready to do. She goes, no, she goes, let's crank up the sawmill. I said, what? I said, you know how to run the saw? She goes, of course I know how to run the sawmill. So she goes over there, and they're all barefooted, of course. Uh, every one of them, all these women are, are barefooted. And uh, so she goes padding across the damn barn in her bare feet and uh, cranks up the damn gas-sucking sawmill. And uh, she's there, man, and she puts the laser so you know we make our mark down the middle and she lines up the laser beam and, you know in the in the uh, Amish sawmill with their with their lasers so she puts that laser beam right on the bead man she cranks up that thing and she carried the board herself uh, I turned around she had already picked that uh, 10 foot 2 by 12 up off the floor she carries the damn thing over to the sawmill across the barn, slams that thing down, cranks up that sawmill, <laughs> beads that thing, and I'm, and I'm falling in love uh, by the second. And uh, I just told her, and she ran that thing, made me these two beautiful two by sixes better than her goddamn husband uh, could have done. And, uh, I said, you know, I, I, I said, I have never met a woman in my entire life. I said, I'm 63 years old. I said, I have never met a woman who can, who, who can stitch a curtain and rip a 2x12 in a sawmill 
within 10 minutes of each other and she laughed and she goes well uh, it's just what needs doing right and I said yeah I, I said you know I said the vast majority of women I know they cannot either I said they can't do either one they can't make curtains and they cannot rip a board in a sawmill and, and I said you just did both of these and uh in, in 10 minutes and uh so there you go so i am now in love with a uh with my amish doomer chick oh jesus in love with an amish woman what do you I, and i told her i said man I, I i said i wish i had been born amish i said i'd probably be married to a woman like you right now and of course i think she has I think it's nine kids. Uh, this woman, I, she's probably 30, maybe 35 years old. I think I've counted nine at one time. Uh, nine kids, and she probably has a BMI of about 20. So this 35-year-old woman who has had nine children uh, somehow manages to uh, keep herself looking pretty damn sexy out there in that garden. And then she went, uh, you know, she went from making curtains to ripping boards in a sawmill. And then uh, she and her daughters grabbing some sort of... Uh, gardening implement heading out into the organic garden uh, so I guess the girls do the organic gardening and the Amish oh, Jesus uh, where is my doomer chick forever who can make curtains rip a 2 by 12 and half and plant an organic garden all within uh, 20 minutes of each other course we can leave out the nine kids uh, anyway good lord I apparently I'm being interviewed here well not me of course uh, that little eco pussy Sam Mitchell over at Collapse Chronicles is being interviewed tonight so if you're listening to this that is 10 o'clock Eastern, well, it's 7 o'clock Pacific, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock Mountain, 7 o'clock Pacific Time. I don't know if it's called in or not, but it's on KMUD, KMUD Radio at KMUD.org. So come over there and listen at KMUD.org at uh, at a right after Sandy's show so right when Sandy's show is winding up uh, I should be coming on well that little eco pussy should be coming on to K-Mud to talk about the state of the planet after my hard day of planet nibbling here in the smoky skies of upstate New York falling in love with an Amish doomer chick <laughs> oh god what a life I need a drink and there's been a major scene of planet eating at Bugs in a Jar Farm alright see you at 10 o'clock bye guys